Hey y'all, thanks for watching Didi Koi with my favorite groomer on YouTube. All right, so Max, one of my favorites. Mwah, he says some kisses. There's some kisses, oh my goodness, I just love you. I just love you. Okay, so he's in for today for just a uh, brush out. And he comes every two weeks because if he doesn't, it's a mess. I haven't uh, done a video with Max in a while, so I thought I would just capture some brushing. It's going to be vigorous and fast and we're done hopefully within 30 minutes or less. It's a very touch up groom because he is here every two weeks so there's things that you're not gonna, that I'm not gonna be doing. And we'll just go from there, so. I'm gonna uh, spray a leave-in conditioner just a tad bit just to give my, so it's not too dry and flaky when you're brushing it. And then um, I'm gonna use several different tools. It just depends how his coat is. All right, thanks for watching. Here we go. Okay. And it's so hairy, like hair is just all over. So remember I told you guys about um, static? This would be the time to get yourself ready. Because uh, especially right now we're going into, we're in October. Not too wet or it's going to be hard to brush as well. Okay. Um, I always pick, do the same thing over and over so you can get fast at it. So start over here. And then draw yourself a line and brush down. And just you want to basically try to brush every hair on the dog's body. So that means you really need to see the line and stuff. Line is in the imaginary line that I create pulling the hair down. Does that make sense? Are you happy? Are you happy? I'm itching myself. Okay. Are you happy? Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy. I just love you. I just love you. I won't, I won't tell anybody. He just pooped on the table. Did you just poop on the table? Give your time, uh, dogs time to poop outside, peeps. Again, bottom first. Does that make sense? I'm not going to brush up here. I'm going to brush down here and bring it all down. Slowly bring it all down together knowing that I brushed it. Does that make sense? It's pretty dry in here. I'm not seeing too many major tangles, so you haven't seen me stop and use other tools. But if you're running into other tangles, you need to stop and use a dematter or the comb, or, you know what I mean? You, uh, get some other tools out that you might need. I'll show you some tools uh, in a little bit here, because I know I'll need them eventually. And I have itchy hands too, so I know it's dry. Definitely dry in the air. We're gonna come back and do the, the legs differently. Um, so I'm just getting the body here. Not differently, we're just separately, I mean. So hard to see like where you start and where you finish on these hairy dogs like this. It, it is not easy. It may seem easy, but you just have to go through each hair, you know. And remind yourself not to get overwhelmed because let me tell you, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, is this too much? If it's snagging, you haven't done enough, so that's why I'm still in the same spot. 
You can feel the brush pulling or not pulling. If it goes through smoothly, you know you're pretty good. And then, again, you guys know, I'm going to go back through and we're going to check with the comb. So. I've kind of created a line here down his back to help at least separate the hair of what I want to do here and what I want to do over there. So I can do like one side of the dog at a time kind of thing. hair up so you can really get down at the bottom instead of brushing all the top plus the bottom. This is not going to work out very well for you. You guys see? Yeah. Okay. I'm bring it up like this. I can come in here. Start at your lowest point. Oops, sorry about that. Pull it all in together. to look down so bad so good good using my fingers as the back backing there to brush fast Now my back's hurting a little bit. Kind of bringing this over sideways because I'm going to do his ear separate, you know, like its own body part. Look up, please. I'm gonna make sure I got all that in there. It's pretty thick, it's hard to tell. So you're gonna come back and check with your comb, but Usually his uh, ear is pretty knotted up over here. Okay, we've got static. Static is so annoying, you guys. You don't even know. Look at this hair. It's all, <laughs> it's all hanging out up at the top here. Okay, okay. Let's focus. I'm going to create this whole ear thing here. Bring a little bit, a little forward. Too much hair. <laughs> okay, again, we got static. Oh, it smells so good. Just love the smell of this stuff. It's got its own, um, it's almost like sandalwood. It's got its own smell. It's not like cherries or anything like that. It's got a natural kind of sandalwood smell. It's so good. This is a leave-in conditioner called The Stuff. If you want some, let me know. I'll send it out your way. Brushing it all forward, now we'll work on it going back after I get to the end of everything. Okay. Good, look at your face. Oh, we didn't do a before picture. Darn. Okay, we're gonna start in the back again. Oh, let's knock out the tail. Okay, 
And this smock, man, I forgot my purple smock. This smock is so old. using that table as a to really dig in there but you can see I barely just using that you know barely grabbing so not to trying to touch the skin really well if you have that backing on the table of your hand you can go a little give it a little bit more support if you've ever had long hair you know what I mean some knotting in there I'm just going to sh uh, shave that out here doing it sanitary then after the brushing you can kind of see I'm drawing a line this way now versus down oh you okay kind of let go and he kind of jerked it and didn't work out too well together okay let me see this one thank you let's do some more of this my hair is getting in my way now okay here we go
No, look that way. Look straight. You can see it's just constant moving, so we're not uh, we're not taking a break. We're not you know messing around. We want to get this done. So so if my camera stopped, we know that was at least 15 minutes straight brush time. So it's a lot of brushing. Okay, up. You gotta look up, buddy. And move that ear. Remember I told you about that? We're gonna do the ear as its own body part. Whole separate body part situation. Okay, hold on. down is tough. It makes you have to keep going up, keep going up. No, let me see. So I'm holding the jawbone here. Okay, we're going to come back. Make sure we've gotten the whole side of the face. Don't move, buddy. Don't move. I'm going to come underneath here get some of these knots um, um, behind the back legs and do a sanitary real fast, real light because he was just here. Kind of hollow this out a little bit. Come down. I'm going to push them up and do a sanitary here, just a little light. Holly, I'll be right there.
Okay, be right back. All right, here's Max. We are about to go home. I had a walk in and talked to my food distributor. So we were not able to finish up his uh, groom, but we just finished, we just basically do a brush out and everything else stays long. So here we are about to go home. And I thought I would just say bye. Say bye, Max. I love you. They love you. <laughs> Thanks for watching.